Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a special Monday to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, I was on a platform last night, popular platform to be exact, of a powerful YouTuber. And in his message, he said that one of the government's playbook is to target influencers, TikTokers and also bloggers with proposals money whatsoever to make their party look good to win back local government election also the general election now you have seen in two terms where this leader and his ministers have been eyeglass for two terms and when i say eyeglass they have been busy stealing public funds stealing donation money stealing tax dollars putting a heavy fee on traffic fines to get money to place in their pockets yeah man and now they are so desperate to win back local government election also general election so their ply or their plot is to use social media influencers also news bloggers to make them look good try to control the social media world now to me that's a very very corrupt deed in the history of jlp this is the most corrupt administration yeah man not even bruce golden time or siaga time but the andrew Wallace time they're the most corrupt administration now, I want to say this from the get-go, from now. I don't want to see no PMP, no JLP officials emailing me or DMing me on Instagram. Don't come over here, son. I don't care how many money you want to offer. Money don't frighten me. I have my money. Do not try to buy me out because I am not for sale. That money you want to take to try to buy out TikTokers and bloggers, use it to pay civil servants more. Use it to invest in the lives of the poor and middle class Jamaicans. Use it to improve the lives of Jamaicans overall. Use it to bring financial freedom to Jamaicans once. As a person who loves Jamaica and loves Jamaicans, I want to see Jamaicans flourish and the country doing better. I will never, ever, ever, ever sell out Jamaica. I will never ever ever be a part of your oppressive regime i will never ever ever big up or rate two colonial political parties i will never ever ever join with the jlp or the pmp to oppress jamaicans i will never ever ever Take money from them to make their party look good towards Jamaicans. All who have eyes can see. All who have ears can listen. Jamaicans have risen up. They have wised up. And your backdoor corrupt deeds and deeds won't sway them, won't move them. So, Andrew Wallace, listen me and listen me good. This money will take to pay influencers and want to approach bloggers so that you can look good once again in the public's eyes or domain. Use that money to fix Jamaica. Use that money to make 
Jamaicans' lives better. You promise that in your first term, when you won the first election, fulfill that. But we know you know, you can't help yourself because you're filled with corruption. You're a very evil man. And I cannot wait for a day when God himself pour his wrath on you and give you a fine lashing and a fine beating. Now we head towards St. James to be exact. Where yesterday, exactly 11 a.m., a police officer took his own three points. Now, Constable Ernesto Tracy, who is attached to Hanover Traffic Division, took his own three points at his home, at their apartment in Westgate Hills in St. James. Now, based on information, about 11 a.m., checks were made and he was seen lying in a pool of blood with a single gunshot wound to his head was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead now also his gun was found beside him now so far the police are saying that it is suicide now we don't know why constable ernesto trace took his own three points but you know at times you know police officer suffer and go through the deep depression Before I continue, I have to ask the JDF one thing. Why are there so many new recruits dying while training? The other day, one drone during training, I know Javar Spence, has died while undergoing training because he was ill. Now, that is recruit Javar Spence aka J. Now J died after feeling ill while undergoing training at the Army's Newcastle Training Center in St. Andrew. Now however, he was taken to U.A. Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now the JDF is offering grief and comfort to the family. Now JDF, this is very strange. And people are wondering, why is it that recruits are just dying? Is the training too hard for the recruits? Or something else are going up at JDF camp there? Because certainly, this is not the first recruit to die. Months ago, you saw recruits dying while on the training. Now, I believe that there needs to be serious investigation in this. To find out what is transpiring as to why the recruits are dying during training. Is it that the training is too hard and vigorous? Or, as I said before, something I'm going about up our camp where it needs to look into and investigate it. Now we head towards St. Andrew where 31 year old Ryan West was killed during an incident with an 18 year old female. Now, that is 31 year old Ryan West of a Mount Algae address in the parish of St. Andrew. Now, based on information, Mr. West and the female had an altercation where a knife was brought into play. Now, Mr. West was stabbed with that knife. Now, Ryan West and the accused aunt was also in a relationship. Now around 8.15 p.m. Saturday night, Mr. West and the 18-year-old had an argument where Mr. West used his hand to place on the neck of the 18-year-old. Now the female, who is soon to be a mother, ran at her home and came back with a knife where Mr. West was fatally stabbed in that incident. The 18-year-old female who is pregnant has been arrested and now in police custody and facing charges of murder. The police are investigating.
Now we head towards St. Catherine to be exact, Spanish town here, where the army and the police have doing joint military operation in Spanish town, in different communities, different areas to be exact, targeting gang members, other criminal elements and also illegal guns. But you know Spanish town have been very hot and the quiet and some of these killings have not been reported in the news media. However, us as vloggers, as I said before, is on the case and giving you accurate and latest coverage of what's happening in the parish of St. Catherine, Portmore, Spanish Town, to be exact. Now a man is in police custody after he was arrested in the John Sipin area on John's Road, Spanish Town, on Sunday, which is yesterday, exactly 5 a.m. Now the police went to a lane and they gave search where they found an M16 rifle and also ammunition. Now the man was taken into custody by the police immediately. However, his name is being withheld. From all indication and based on information, his occupation is an auto body repair man. The police are investigating and I hope he's been charged. But certainly, his name being withheld is very suspicious. This is Jay Crazy News once again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Monday evening. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy